Hi guys, today we're going to take a look at revision on an advertency. So first and foremost, they want you to read the advert. All the tall questions is in this question is based on this ad. So you must answer the tall questions in context. That's essentially what they're saying. The, num sorry. the numbers here on the advert indicates the numbers here. So for example, 3.5 refers to 3.5 over here. And just answer all the questions. That's what your instructions say. So here we have an Albany logo. So we know it's relating to bread. Full the farsate. Fras farsate is the freshness. Feel the freshness. Full the the freedonate, feel the satisfaction. There we have a thumbs up. Thumbs up always indicates something is good. Then we have andach, attention, all mothers. Then we have goedkoop, very cheap, exclamation mark. Slechts ten rand. Slechts is only 10 rands and that's in a star. Capture your attention. Then we have a little girl here that's smiling. While she's holding the bread, indicating that she's quite happy, she's content, and it plays at the heartstrings, right? At the heartstrings of mothers. Because it's a little girl smiling with the bread. Quop that by checker, shop right, and pick and pay. So this is like your action where you can get the bread. Then they have a nice little sandwich picture here, and they say the yell lacquers the two brookies. For your man and kinder. And then they say, this is our, the contact detail. So this is where you can take action. So for enige navra, klachtofs of commentars, for any questions, complaints, comments, please contact Albany's client services. They give their cell phone number and their email address. All right, let's take a look at the questions. How did take a group for the advertentie in gedachte? So, while you answer these, this question, please keep the target market. So what do you think the target market here? Who did they grab attention from? From moms, right? So therefore, our target market is moms or grandmothers or even people that just pack lunches, I would say. But there direct in here the advertentie gepraat. Who is the advert speaking to directly? And it's definitely Mars, right? Why do we say that? Because there's a direct speech here. Attention all mothers. Cheap or inexpensive. So it's Mars. Verduidelik waarom ons kan sê dat hier die teiken groep a voorbeeld van stereotypering is. What is stereotypering? Stereotyping. Why is this an example of stereotyping? It's because, first of all, not all homes always have a mom. In some households, the father is in charge of packing your lunch, making your sandwich. So therefore, that's a stereotype because the advertisement just assumed, generalized, okay, this is the gender role, moms do this, no dads can do that. So it's a form of stereotyping. What the inlichting omtrent hier die brood? Maak dit dat mense dit wil koop. So what information about this bread makes people want to buy it? And there's quite a lot. They use the word farsate, the freedonate, but most importantly, this goedkoop, slechts tien rand. And I think that's in the information about the bread that makes me want to buy it. It's fresh and it's very cheap. But they only want one, so you can choose. Kies die correcte antwoord uit die tisanakies. Met hier die duimpie, this little thumbs up here. Wees die adverteerder vir ons dat, so there is the advertiser showing, number one, that mense nie a fout sal maak om die brood te koop nie. Or number two, that mense a fout sal maak om die brood te koop. So what did I say? A thumbs up usually is indication of good, right? So therefore, they won't, hulle sal nie a fout maak. So it's the first option. Waarom dink jy, was dit slim, clever, van die adverteerder, Om die foto van die dochter te dochter kie te gebruik. Why was it? Why was the advertiser smart to use the picture of the little girl on the advert? So you can speak about how happy she is. That lot you could say, uh, like if she is happy, my children will probably be happy, and I will be happy when I eat this bread. So 
Dis een goeie techniek om mensen te manipuleer, om die product te koop, omdat jy sal dat jy dink, omdat die meisiekie gelukkig is, gaan my kinders ook seker gelukkig wees. So, dat laat jy dink dat jy net so gelukkig gaan wees, soos die meisie. Gee die intensieve vorm van goedkoop, dit is spot, sorry, spot goedkoop. So, when something is very cheap. Kijk naar die inlichting onder die prentjie. So the information below the picture, that's the picture. So the information here, all the information here, that's now where they're drawing your attention to. Skryf vier op een volgende woorde neer. So op een volgende means consecutive words neer wat a mening is. What is a mening? A mening is not a fact. So a mening is just someone's opinion. So four words that shows us someone's opinion. So if you take a look at the word at the bottom, the heel lekkerste toebreekies for your man and kinder. So the heel lekkerste toebreekies I think is the answer because it's an opinion. To you, it's the most it's the most delicious. So there, that's also your answer. Why? And they would they would they tell you they would ask you motivate your answer. So. Why did you take out those four words to show us an opinion? So your answer for all opinions will be just because you think it's delicious doesn't mean everyone is going to think it's delicious. And that is why it's an opinion. So in Afrikaans, we would say, Ni amal sal dink dat dit is die lekkerste toebroeikie nie or ni amal hou van Albany se brood nie. So just to show that like not everyone likes the bread or not everyone think they ma- it makes the best sandwiches. Okay. 3.7. Gee een woord vir man en kinders binnen die context van hierdie gedig. So one word vir man en kinders. Your man and your kinders are usually the ones that are closer to you. And what do we call those family members? We call them a gesin. But in the exam, they actually took family as correct as well. So, gesin or family. But the correct one I would say, although we can now use it interchangeably and they're not so strict, would be gesin. Because that's the people close to you. Your, your husband and your wife and your, sorry, and your children. 3.8 Waar het kan ons afle dat Albany graag wil weet wat mense van hulle product dink, skryf dit in jou eie woorde. So, what is showing us in this advert that Albany wants people to tell them what they feel about their product? So they gave us their contact details at the bottom. They say, look, if you have any questions, any complaints, any comments, please contact our, our, our client services and they give their contact details. So you just say that Albany nwe mense eit om vir hulle te contact klagtes te gee, kommentaar te lewe, navra te soek, anything along those lines and you will be 100% okay. And that's it guys, I will see you in the next one.